Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, it's holiday time and I have plenty of shopping to get back to, so we're gonna run through this real quick. We talked about ongoing new construction neighborhoods a few weeks ago, and now we're gonna talk about brand new developments. Like, they haven't really even started yet. These are brand new. Good news is, I haven't signed any NDAs, so I can kind of talk and say whatever I want about these. Unfortunately, that also means that I don't really know much about these neighborhoods yet, just that they're coming. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Easton. Okay, I talked about this neighborhood in our last neighborhood update video, but that was because they had just sort of technically started. I believe the first homes came up for sale just a few weeks ago, but really they're just getting started. It's called Easton. Easton is Polish's next big hood. Gosh, they just don't stop, do they? Located on the southeast side of town, Easton is Polish's newest master plan community, featuring homes and home styles for every phase of life. And what I'm most excited about is the commercial section that will include a marketplace for things like dining and shopping. Easton will bring somewhere around 450 homes to this side of town. Take that into consideration when you're thinking about the 850 homes that Countryside is gonna to bring to that area of town. And that whole area is just gonna explode with people. It's great that they're gonna have shopping there soon. In recent years, we've seen this side of town expand, but Recently, with the brand new high school that's opened up, Caldera High School, across the street from Easton, and then across the street from that is the brand new 37-acre park, Alpenglow Park, and then you take into consideration the new arterial roadway of Murphy that cuts all the way through to get to that area. All that's really missing is a couple of dining and shopping options, and then no one will have to leave. Northview Crossing. Huh? Yeah. Here's what I know. It's a chunk of land over on Empire and 27th. It's kind of on a hill and well, it, it has northerly views. So this is gonna be a small little um, infilled area, uh, similar to North 44, which we talked about in the last video. By the way, if you need to see the last video, I'll go ahead and put a tag, a link right there. You can go check it out, hit pause, and then come right back here, okay? now. Maybe this is gonna be about two dozen homes, I'm guessing, and the builder is gonna be Stonebridge. Again, Stonebridge is a great builder, and as long as the permit process doesn't take too long, kinda of like it did over at North 44, uh, this neighborhood should be rolling along pretty quickly, and again, because they're such a great builder, when they do hit the market, these things will probably sell pretty quickly. Glen Vista. Ah, Hayden Homes, who kinda of fell behind in developments as of late. But to be fair, there really hasn't been any affordable land for them to buy. And I say affordable land for sale because as we know, Hayden is a value builder and there hasn't been any land that's affordable enough for them to buy to have them pencil it out that makes sense for their model. And so really Glen Vista isn't an exception to that either. It's pretty expensive. This is West Side and just walking distance to Riley Ranch Reserve, which is a 184 acre private nature reserve it's like right in the middle of town. It's right along the Deschutes River and it's one of the best places in Bend to find a little peace and quiet. Yeah, so this neighborhood is only, well, I say it's a neighborhood, but it's not really. It's really only like six lots. Six homes and three are currently for sale, depending on whenever you're watching this. It might even be sold out by now. Point being is that they couldn't really cut corners here, being on the west side, being where it's located. And so they didn't, in fact, this neighborhood is three quarter of a million dollar homes and they are sweet. Also in full disclosure, this neighborhood is well on its way to being complete. I just didn't really have time or room to put it in the other video. So you're getting to learn about it here and now. Shevlin West. Here's a different one for you. Shevlin West is one of the very few places in Central Oregon where you can buy a lot, bring your own builder and it's shovel ready. We hear from clients all the time that want to build their own home. Custom. Well. Shevlin West may be the place for you. I will warn you though that the lots are not cheap and you can't just build whatever you want. There are strict building guidelines that you must follow. But if you're good with all that, there are 118 lots in this neighborhood, all varying in size between eight and 20,000 square feet. Now, they aren't huge lots, but by Ben's standards, they're not exactly small either. 
From my understanding, about half of them are sold, but there really isn't a whole lot of construction actually happening down there right now. In fact, do we have any of that B-roll? Uh, mm, ah, yes, there we are, you see? So this is located in the upper northwest corner of Bend, just before you get to Chevron Park. And it's actually behind the Skyline West neighborhood that we've talked about multiple times in other videos. Definitely a great hood for BYOB. Bring your own builder. Tall line. Okay, now Tall Line, as it's currently known, but may also be known as Skyline Ranch Northwest, is kind of my grand finale. It's a 150-ish acre new development coming to the northwest side of town where the old Chevlin gravel pit used to be. It's going to feature approximately 266 dwellings with a mix of single family homes, townhomes, and cottages, I think. There's gonna be seven acres of green space along with another eight acres of commercial spaces, retail, restaurants, stuff like that. Now this is all proposed and is in the initial stages of being approved, but it sounds like it's gonna be a pretty hot development, especially considering that it's gonna be on the northwest side of town. This will be a development where selected builders will get to be involved. And currently the roster includes some pretty well-known and high-end builders, such as Curtis Homes, Structure, Lifestyle Homes, and Greg Welch. So that makes it apparent to me that this is gonna be a very nice high-end development. Now I'm sure that there are other developments coming soon as well. I heard a rumor a few weeks ago about a chunk of land that's across the street from Petrosa on the northeast side of town that Polish owns, but we don't know any details and haven't heard any plans on whether or not that's gonna happen or not. It will at some point. In any case, thank you for coming on this journey with me. As always, be sure to subscribe to our channel for every and all things related to Central Oregon real estate, but not always about real estate. We talk about all kinds of stuff. In either case, if you are thinking about making the move to Central Oregon, or if you already live here and are wanting to make your move over to one of these new developments, my real estate team and I would love to be your resource of choice. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next week.